After Awaken finished, which was in April of 2019, I immediately started on my next series of paintings, which eventually became the series called Conjure. At first, I didn't really know where I was going with it, and I was in this place where I was frustrated with what I was creating and, and why I was creating and the physical aspects of what I put out into the world. I was struggling with the ramifications of my personal footprint. It started with some smaller pieces. These were some initial sketches for that. It's a segue from the more joyous foxes of Awaken to these shadowy creatures whose faces are hidden behind masks. And that carried over into the human figures that I created in, in this series as well, whose features were shadowed blurs. So I had this early figure in mind, and I think I just happened to have my sketchbook with me on hand, and I didn't have any pencils, so I just grabbed some pens, and that's why there's some pen scribbles here as well. You see, nothing in this book is very precious. It's just all things that are occurring to me, and I just want to immediately jot them down. So that's what happens here. So everything is very messy, very scribbly. They have just the shadow of what the final paintings look like. I scribble down words sometimes if something comes to mind while we sleep is here. I'm not exactly sure what I had in mind with that. <laughs> uh, so this was the initial sketch and I toyed with some other possible compositions. I had him holding out his hand like this and some birds flying forward. This one, it's butterflies, if you can tell that from there. And then a later sketch over here where the I decided on the butterflies and I have one of them right in front of his face. Uh, familiar from like the Magritte apple painting. But he's holding this umbrella. And, and I had a vague idea of perhaps the butterflies and his umbrella deconstructing as it spiraled up into this sort of DNA double helix spiral, but I decided to drop that last bit of it and left it more nebulous. But I liked the way the umbrella shadowed the figure and put his shoulders and face into this deep um, shadowy bit. This was the more finalized, evolved sketch from those concepts. It wasn't the final sketch because I then used this and transferred it to paper, the watercolor paper, and it became the final painting. But this was a mid-stage, somewhere between the scribbled ink thumbnails there and the finalized painting-ready piece. And you see it evolved a little bit more even from this drawing where I, I kept together most of the concepts of that, but I changed the shape of the umbrella. Oh, the shape of the umbrella came about because I was in the Alameda Antique Fair with my friend Naomi Van Doren, and we saw this woman who was walking around with a parasol in this shape, and I just fell in love with it. And I saw more of these parasols later on in New Orleans, but I decided to work those into the painting it was very fitting for the mood I wanted to evoke. What else do I have here? Oh, I have here. This was the very first sketch for Forgotten Places. I love painting trees, if you haven't noticed that before. <laughs> and sometimes I'm just looking for excuses to paint more trees. So I had this very... This tree here, which was going to be a tangle of branches at the top and the moon. And down below, I wanted this thorn, uh, bramble, tangle of rose bushes with blue roses. Blue roses, I see them as this, this combination of the natural and the things that have been touched by humans, by man. This, they're this uh, fantastical creation hybrid which was a lot of what the pieces in the series were about, is this hybridization and, and this created beauty that we have as a result. 
This piece, I toyed with a number of different possible titles for it. I had here scribbled a few of those. Uh, playing with the universe, the universe is a plaything. I think eventually it just became a very simple making. And she also had some tattoos on her back that flowed out and became these birds that flew off of her fingers. But I had dangling from her fingertips these little baubles that are stars and suns and planets. And this was where I first decided I also wanted it to be a circular composition. So I work in conjunction with the, the tighter sketches as well as the very loose thumbnails. This was an alternate composition for it in which it was a rectangular piece and there was going to be a full body figure over here with a tree stretched up in the corner and brambles curled around her legs and in the bottom portion of the piece. But I decided not to go with that. I thought the background was going to be too distracting too much and I wanted to simplify it down to this circular piece that really focused in and on her and featured her. This was another piece where I played with several different titles and I like to scribble those down as I work because it gives me a reminder of what I'm trying to do with the paintings when I finally get around to painting them but this this woman she is crowning herself and along her skirts lifting up her train are these birds and they were going to have little collars on them little golden collars so the title of this one that I toyed with a few different options were tamer of the wild things uh, Wilds Tamer, Colors and Crowns, Self-Crowned. I think the final title that I settled on was Colors and Crowns. This was a thumbnail for a piece called The Origin of the Spark. It is very scribbly and loose, so I'm not even sure if you can decipher what I have here, <laughs> but... There is a stag right here, a tiny little stag, and a bunch of sitting does around the bottom. The ground is at this angle, and there's this large tree with these glowing orbs that are hovering in the branches. Now, this was the initial concept thumbnail for the piece. It eventually became a very tall, thin piece. It became actually, if, it, if I were to draw the thumbnail for it, it was about this tall and about that wide still. So the final thing differed in the composition, although the central element, the main focus of the piece, remained the same. These were some other sketches that did not make it into the final show, this piece. I've wanted to do more little tea party type scenes. <laughs> I did a small series of things with that in the past, but I haven't really dove into it yet. Uh, this is a little girl and she's pouring out tea into cups for birds around her. <laughs> and the fish are swimming up. And this other one where the little mushrooms are shaped like the parasols. And they are just kind of a little subtle bit in that painting, which I did incorporate eventually into some of the other paintings in the series, but I did not do this specific piece. This one did make it into the series. It was a painting called Weaving the Threads. And there was a matching piece for it called Creator Destroyer. Uh, here's, here's a piece that had the parasols drifting upwards into the sky and transforming into poppies, transforming into flowers as they go up and 
in the distance, there's this city. The city did not make it into the final painting. Instead, it was just the shadowed forests and trees in the background, although a similar silhouetted figure was at the forefront of the piece. This was a more finalized version of the thumbnail. This one more accurately represents the final composition. And I used this, actually I blew this thumbnail up directly to use it as the exact placement of all my compositional elements. I was actually very happy with how everything fit into this framework. Not often do the thumbnails get used so exactly as I did with this one. This is a thumbnail for another piece that did not make it in. Still toying with a few of the ideas that I had in previous paintings, but just didn't, didn't uh, make it to the final cut. And these are some little doodles that my daughter drew. We were watching a show somewhere and she got bored, so I handed her my sketchbook and a pencil and that's what she drew. <laughs> Oh yeah, here's the sketch for what became Creator Destroyer. And some of the frame concepts. I think that is all I have in this book. 